hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel uh my name is saurabh parthi microsoft dynamics 360 professional and uh, this is my platform where i come and share the knowledge and experience with you all so this is the next part of our uh, previous video which we have uh, talked about which is the business performance analytics which we started and in the last part we have spoken about that how you can uh, enable uh, uh, the business performance analytics and how you can set up the security there now in today's video we are going to talk about how you can how you can uh, generate these reports and if you want to modify or you want to add new report how you can do that so that's the purpose of this particular video so without further delay i think let's uh, log into the uh, let log into the business performance uh, analytics uh, 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 tool so you know that how do we access this particular tool so you can access this tool by going to your dynamics and here you have all these things available for you now what we can do is we can click on the reports here now similar to our financial reporter uh, uh, we have the uh, different uh, default reports which are available uh, for us here so here you have different set of 15 reports which are available from the microsoft and you can go and check these things so let's say if i want to look at the balance sheet so i can click on this and look at this balance sheet report now as if as you know that the data refresh as of now is the 24 hours so it might not be a real time report for us so now if you see it here uh, uh, now i have the balance sheet here based on the structure which has been defined and the good part about this is that uh, you can have a different uh, view of the different currencies uh, you can filter uh, based on the different uh, legal entities the date range and, and and all those things so it is going to provide you the data based on that and you also have the different filters uh, which you can edit here on the filters section here so that's one of the report which we have uh, other reports which i really like about it is like you are going to have the some aging reports so aging report we know that it is always uh, very difficult to build uh, if we have any changes here but this is really uh, uh, impactful uh, if you see that it gives it's a consolidated aging report which you have for uh multiple legal entities and you have got the different buckets which you have defined in your uh system so that's their vendor aging then you also have the sales aging i think but that has got some problem i think the data is was not refreshed but let's give it a try if it is working now so where you can have for multiple legal entities you have the uh the aging for this so i think there is some issue here but i'll sort this out but it is going to work then you have uh, not only this data you have it you also have some uh, good dashboards which you can create it here so you have got this uh, uh, financial performance where you can define that how you are doing with the uh, revenue expense and and budget versus actuals and how it is going to work and then you have a different legal entity filters and things which you can define it here so these are the different uh, reports which are available here but the point here is that uh, is there a possibility that you can create a a new report uh, by yourself so yes you can create a, a new report so you can click on the new report here so you click here a new report uh, you can start with a, a blank report or you can duplicate any uh, microsoft report so if you want to uh, let's say if i want to do it based on uh, uh, any of the report which is available so let's say if you want to do something based on the purchase order report so uh, let's say we say po copy report something so i can click on new here and uh, this is going to give me the option where i can define my own uh report here so uh if you see i have got this uh, po report copy available for me 
now here uh, what I can do is uh, uh, I can click on this PO copy so this is the report which I have it here so now I need to uh, edit this report so I click on the edit here now on the right hand side if you have worked on the Power BI it is going to give you the different options what you can edit here so you have got the different charts and the different fields and this is what I was explaining in the last video if you uh, remember that you have got two types of things here so you have got the fact and the dimensions now but let's do one thing I think let's let's try to create a new report here from the scratch so if I want to create a new report uh, from the scratch so let's say new report and let's see that how you can add the information here so I click on new so uh, so I'm going to have this new report available for me and I want to edit this because this is not going to have anything so I will click on new I can edit the information here what's the report name I want to give it so uh, I can do all those things and then the important thing for me is to have uh, all these uh, the properties and the, the, the effects and the things which I want to edit here so let's say if I want to do it based on the purchase uh, order or purchase invoice uh, basis so I can filter out let's say I can have a, a dimension table for the purchase order first so let's say the dim so everything has got a prefix so dimension has a dim prefix so let's say I add the uh, uh, I, I can uh, drag this here so I have got all my uh, purchase orders available here now using this so I can just uh, increase this so let's say this is my purchase order number now on this purchase orders uh, let's say if I want to add the line number of the purchase order so I can just click on this and add it to this so I, for every purchase order uh, what are the different line numbers I have it right uh, I, I can edit here so let's increase this now let's add some dimensions uh, some facts here so let's say if I want to get the uh, data of uh, a product receipt so I can get that uh, what are the other like different columns which we have it for product receipt so I have uh, product receipt date uh, inventory unit of measure uh, indicator currencies and everything I am having here so and on what keys it is available so these are the different keys on which the fact can be analyzed so and this is what I have it here so I have I want to know that how how much is my ordered uh, uh, quantity and then let's say I want to know how much is my received quantity as of now and what's the amount also if I want to have it I can just edit from here right so I can have this uh, information so for this particular purchase order so let's say if you want to filter on one of the legal entity here we can just quickly check this report while we are doing so let's say we want only uh, this particular uh, thing so I have this uh, order uh, for the for this thing and then now if I want to add from some other so let's say if I want to add from purchase invoice right so what's the uh, possibly amount I can edit so you can just create your own reports by uh, defining uh, or dragging and dropping the columns and things which you have it here right and then you can just uh, 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 put a name and things which you want to have it here so you can select the, the font and things which you want to have for your report name and you can just put it here now once that is done you can just save this report and once you go back this report will be available for you so if you go here and check this new report I mean it is available for you now if you want to add more details here you can add more as many details you want to have and you just should know that uh, uh, I mean from where you need to uh, fetch this particular data right and also you need to know that whether that data ma makes sense for this particular reports or not 
so yeah so this is really a good tool which i feel like you can do a lot of things with this particular tool you can create your own reports and uh, uh, and, and and use it now possibly a task for you go back uh, look uh, explore this tool and see uh, how many different types of reports you can create with this existing cubes which you have in this dynamics 365 uh, business performance analytics that's it for this video hope this is going to help you uh, and see you in the next one